How's everybody doing? The channel is Let's Turn 2 and I was at a Walmart recently and I seen this. It is a release that I have never heard of before, but it is Donruss Elite Football 2021. I have done no research on this other than to see when it came out. I wanted to see if it's something that's new or if it's something that's been out for a while and I've just missed it. So I seen at least the hobby version. I'm not sure on retail. You can let me know. But it came out back in mid-June, so this has been out a while. First time I've seen it, first time I've even heard of it, so we're going to get right into this. Take a look around the box. True Panini form. There's all kinds of stuff you can look at that are parallels and exclusives to the blaster boxes. So one thing to note that this card or this box, 20 total cards. We've got five cards per pack, four packs per box. And this was $26.97 before tax. So in the retail world with cards, when you're at a price point of about $1.32 per card, you're starting to get up there in the retail world. So I'm expecting some pretty nice things. Let's go ahead and get into this. I would say that price point would put it up along the lines with what, like Chrome or Prism in baseball. But all right, so... That's Kyler Murray on the front there. And since it's four packs, we're going to be able to do what I like to do, which is the two stacks of two packs. And we'll go ahead and open two of them at a time. So at least that works out, I guess. Panini doesn't do pack odds, but we'll go ahead and just take a look at what we can look for. And so no purchase necessary. Why not? I can see on the back here the Kid Reporter cards. Let me know. Do you, have you do you know anyone that actually does those Kid Reporter cards? I certainly would not qualify, but I'm just interested how many people actually enter those codes in for a chance to win. So, all right, here we go. We start out with a nice Tua. So, all right, so it's not a Chrome card, but it is a foil finish. Reminds me a lot of what Bowman Platinum does in baseball which I'm not the biggest foil finish kind of a card kind of a fan, but this one's not too bad. Foil is kind of that in-between of just a regular base paper card, and it's between that and like prism or chrome, so I don't know, kind of nice, but nice way to start with a nice Tua, a Luke Keekly. That's kind of cool. This is a Shane Bouchelle rookie card. Maybe not the rookie we were looking for, but it is numbered. We can see there to 275. We'll put a numbered card aside. Full throttle. That's a pretty cool card. Stefan Diggs. I like that one. We'll put an insert aside. Why not? And we end with a Khalil Mack. There's the Kid Reporter card. Now retired, Drew Brees. Jerry Rice. We've got another rookie card, Dylan Moses. We'll put our rookies aside. And what is that? Tamorian Terry? Some of the names are hard to see when you're holding them like this behind the camera and everything because just because of that reflection. But again, put our rookies aside. And a Calvin Ridley. All right, so not too bad. Got some rookies. Nice numbered rookie card in there. So... And we still have two packs left. Keep in mind that price point, $1.32 per card. I don't know, what do you think? Is that a little too much for this, or is that about right? I would probably say $20 on a blaster would be more appropriate, but maybe I'm wrong. We got a nice Jalen Hurts. Uh, DJ Chark Jr. It's our second, Luke Keekley. And what is this? It's an insert of some kind. Field Vision. Aaron Rodgers. It's a pretty nice card. It's not numbered, so probably just a regular insert. We'll put it aside. Aaron Rodgers' teammate here, Devontae Adams. Kid Reporter card, Rob Gronkowski, 
Drew Locke. Our first rookie of this second stack, Devontae Smith. It's a pretty nice one. Spellbound, Peyton Manning. It's pretty cool. You get the M in Manning. Really like that insert. And we end with a Sam Darno. Or Darnold. So let's just take a look what I set aside. Didn't get an autograph. We did get the one, what is it one? No, we got two numbered cards, it looks like. That Terry was also numbered. I don't think I mentioned that. But out of $9.99. So not too bad. I would say a slightly bit overpriced. Should be about 20 bucks in my opinion. But let me know. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like what I do on this channel, consider hitting subscribe. Hope to see you all on the next one, and take care.